Let's shift our focus now. World Health Organization is hosting its first ever traditional medicine summit on the sidelines of the G20 health ministers meeting in the Indian city of Gandhinagar. The two-day summit seeks to mobilize political commitment and evidence-based action on traditional medicine. Talks in India aim to bring together policymakers and academics in this direction. WHO says that traditional medicine are the first resort for millions of people worldwide for health-related needs. WHO chief, while listing benefits of these medicines on the first day of the summit, said that they have made enormous contributions to human health. He added that traditional medicine have seen a growing demand and their use is significant for treating and preventing non-communicable diseases. WHO defines traditional medicine as the knowledge, skills and practices used over time to maintain health and prevent, diagnose and treat physical and mental illness. Of the organizations, 194 member states, 170 acknowledge their use of traditional and complementary medicine. WHO countries have approved an official strategy for traditional medicines and are now bound to work in this area. However, experts in public health are skeptical with top health bodies stance. Reactions are pouring in over social media where the organization posted about using traditional medicines. In one of the posts, WHO featured homeopathy and naturopathy as part of these medicines. Practitioners of modern medicine have questioned this move. WHO has agreed to the argument and acknowledged that its message could have been better articulated. The body says it aims to bring evidence and scientific validation around traditional medicine so that millions of people who use them understand whether it's safe and effective. It says these medicines have the potential to bridge access gaps for millions around the world.